Dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, welcome to this homily on this fourth Sunday of the Easter season. The fourth Sunday is known as the Good Shepherd Sunday or also as the day, the world day of praying for vocations since the time of Paul VI in 1964. The day reminds us firstly that we are all sheep who have a caring and loving shepherd in the person of Jesus. And secondly, it reminds us that we are all shepherds participating in his mission of shepherding his flock. It's important to keep in mind and also it's very comforting to know that we have a great shepherd who knows us by name, who walks before us, leads us to green pastures and who even lays down his life for us. Unfortunately, there are many occasions when people fail to remember this. Without this realization, humanity, we included, is in endless pursuit of finding their own ways. We think we have to find our own ways, our own creative vision and insights are the most important thing. Success depends on our own efforts to find new paths and make roads. While it is important to use our own creativity, God-given intelligence or scientific and technological ad advancement, it is always important to keep in mind that there is somebody for us who can show us the way, lead us on to new and creative paths. The more we think we have to find our own ways, lead us to self-dependence, self-reliance, and rational pride. But there are many occasions when we find our own creative ways, scientific advancement are useless. There was just one virus, small virus, that was enough to make the whole world stand still, shut in not knowing what to do. Yes, there is a great shepherd for us. Listen to him, follow him, and he, he will lead you to green pastures and streams that will never dry up. That's why Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I will lead my own, provided we are willing to follow him. And Jesus said, my sheep will hear my voice. Today in our world, one hears not only just one voice, the voice of Jesus, but there are hundreds of voices calling us to every side. The voice of success, of wealth, of pressure, of name, of achievement, of better and better job opportunities. So it is absolutely impossible to pinpoint what is the voice of Jesus. What does he call for us? Think of the world today, our own church, how the number of churchgoers regularly fall every year, especially where the call of the world of prosperity is fast improving and increasing, where society has advanced in the material sense and where we, we feel self-sufficient. People don't feel that they need God. They don't feel that they need to listen to God because they think science is everything that is needed. Our own efforts and intelligence is all what we need to become successful. So as societies advance, church goers dwindle everywhere. Yes, the world is flooded with so many voices. And the voice of the Good Shepherd is not sharp and exciting enough for us to recognize it easily and follow him. So the first message for us today is that we have a great shepherd who is constantly calling us and who is willing to take us to the greenest pastures. But are we able to recognize his voice and are we willing to follow him?
Secondly, Jesus is not just the one who calls us, walks before us, but he is the one in whom, through whom we have to walk. He is the door through which we have to walk. Which means from a distant listening and following him, you must walk through him. Your ways become his ways. You become the shepherd. Yes, the disciple becomes like the master. That's why I said we are all to become shepherds. We are all indeed. There are shepherds, good shepherds in the families, in the kitchens, in the workplaces, in schools, in hospitals, wherever we are. We are called to be good shepherds. So on this, that's why on this World Day of Prayer for Vocations, we are not only praying for vocation to priesthood and religious life, though important it is. We are praying for committed shepherds in all walks of life. Holy Father Pope Francis describes each calling as a vocational symphony with every vocation united yet distinct in harmony and joined together in going forth to radiate throughout the world the new life of the kingdom of God. And he says we have to respond to God's call which is always there. Vocation is the interplay between divine choice and human freedom. And the nature of a good shepherd, Jesus says, is that it lays down its life for the sheep. This is in contrast with the false prophet prophets, false shepherds of Israel, as we find in the book of prophet Ezekiel chapter 34, whose only concern was they themselves. So the nature of a shepherd is a sacrifice. It is willing to take. The shepherd who thinks what I will have, what I will get, is stealing. He is not the true shepherd or his concern is he himself. The character of the Good Shepherd is self-sacrifice for the sheep. So the greater the sacrifice you are willing to take, the better shepherds you become. The greater the concern you have for your personal gain, your name, the bigger thief you become. When Pope Francis says the church needs shepherds who smells like the sheep, this is what he meant. The shepherds who is going to serve the sheep, who is willing to sacrifice themselves. It is applicable and he was talking about priests and consecrated people mostly. But it is applicable to all. In as much as everyone is a shepherd. So dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, on this fourth Sunday of Easter season, on this Good Shepherd Sunday, we thank the, thank the Lord for leading us. And we pray that we are able to listen to his voice and we follow him so that we become good shepherds ourselves. May the Lord send plenty of laborers in his harvest and may he bless all of us. Amen.